So before we delve into it, we look at some keywords for today. So our keywords for today are materials, water, carbon dioxide, oxygen, sunlight, and chlorophyll. In our previous lesson, we learned that air is a mixture of gases. The components of air are nitrogen, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and other rare gases such as argon, helium, and neon. I hope you remember. Good. So plants as living things need carbon dioxide and other inorganic materials to prepare their own food. In this lesson, we will learn how plants use certain materials from the environment to prepare, the, to prepare their own food in order for them to survive. The materials plants need to prepare their own food are 1. Water 2. Carbon dioxide 3. Sunlight and 4. Chlorophyll so these four materials are the most essential for any plant to survive. In the absence of one of these, it will be difficult for the plant to grow. So there will be retardation of the plant's growth. When water is not there, the plant will not be able to grow well. It may actually die. Sunlight. Sunlight is what provides energy for the plant. Carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is the air that the plant breathes in. Without carbon dioxide, it will be difficult for the plant to prepare its own food. Chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is the green pigment that attracts the rays of the sun. So when the chlorophyll is not there, the plant will not be able to prepare its own food. So take notice of these four materials, very important in the life of the any plant. Plants prepare their own food through a process called photosynthesis. The word photosynthesis can be broken down into two ways. These are photo and synthesis. So the first part, photo and then synthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means to put together. Photo, you see when you take a camera, okay, and then you press it, what comes? Light comes out. So photo means light and then synthesis, synthesis, you, you are putting something together. So the, the word photosynthesis, two words, photo, light, and then synthesis means to put together. So what is photosynthesis now? So it's a process by which green plants prepare their own food using water and carbon dioxide with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll. During the process of photosynthesis, oxygen and glucose are produced. The oxygen produced is released from the leaves into the atmosphere. The glucose produced is the prepared food for the plants. Part of the food, that is glucose, provides energy for the growth of the plant. The remaining glucose is stored in the leaves and the roots, which is later used by the plants. We can represent the process of photosynthesis by a simple equation. So this is the equation of photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll will give us sugar, that is glucose, plus oxygen. And we establish that the byproduct, that is the food that we gain, a plant gain after photosynthesis is glucose. And then they release oxygen into the atmosphere. That is why humans breathe in oxygen from plants and they take carbon dioxide from us. So the, for the equation is again carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll will give us glucose, that is sugar and oxygen. Let's take notice of this. So let's look at some functions of the materials needed by plants. 
their functions, what they do, how do they help the plants. So carbon dioxide is one. Plants breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. Carbon dioxide from the air enters the leaves of plant to the stomata. The stomata are the small holes or tiny pores in the leaves of the plants. The holes in the leaves are so tiny that they cannot be seen with the bare eyes. The second is water. Plants obtain water from the soil. The roots of plants absorb water from the soil and send it to the stem and to the leaves. The leaves combine the water with sunlight to prepare their own food. So the next we talk about sunlight. Light from the sun is also known as sunlight. Sunlight provides energy that plants need to make their own food. The chlorophyll in plants leaves in the plant leaves absorbs energy from the sunlight and sends it to other parts of the plants. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Now on this note, I would like you to go on a nature walk. Pluck a fresh green leaf of a plant and squeeze it. You can actually get a plant in your house. Yes, you can pluck, just pluck a leaf and then you squeeze it, squeeze it. What do you see? The green pigment or green liquid you see in the leaf when you squeeze it is called chlorophyll. Photosynthesis can only take place when there is presence of chlorophyll in the leaves of plants. Chlorophyll absorbs the sun's energy. It is this energy that helps plants to prepare their own food using simple inorganic materials like carbon dioxide and water.